Hey there, YugiTube. What is going on? Bobby with capital CCG here. I won big at my local sneaks. We're going to open this box of Rise of the Duelist sneak peeks and show off the swag. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the thumbs up. We've got our massive 4K Rise of the Duelist stream coming up later this week, so destroy that notification bell so you can join in in the fun when we go live. I can't wait to open this box, so let's dive right in. All right, guys, so like I said, I won big. We got the uh, promo card, the guy, the Fierce Knight Origin. Um, they've changed how they're doing the sneak peek pricing and promos. It used to be that these cards, the um, sneak peek promos, were given out for every single sneak you purchased. So I could go to my store, buy five packs, a sneak, a single sneak, and get a promo. And I could go in, get a play set, just spend $60 and get one. But now they've changed how they're doing sneaks. As of Eternity Code, they switched it to where instead of getting cases of loose packs, they're getting regular cases with booster boxes in them. And so now Konami has changed this to be a prize support instead of a purchase incentive for the sneaks. Uh, they've also changed the prize support it used to be Winamat competitions, and now it is a Winamat um, mouse pad. I think pretty much everybody's disappointed with this, but it is a pretty little mouse pad, and I'm definitely going to use this. Um, I guess if you're really dead set on the mat, you could win four of these and stick them together and call it a mat. Um, good luck with that, but... Yeah, so this is cool because the uh, the promos are going to be worth more money than they used to be. It used to be you could go in, buy a case of sneaks, walk out with an envelope full of these things. My store went from getting hundreds to getting six. So that's a really big change Konami made. But I can't wait to dive into this box. So let's jump right in, guys. Let's get this thing open. All right. Oh, slipped out. There we go. Off that Konami wrapper. And Gaia rides again. So that's our uh, main cover art is the new Gaia fusion monster. All right, let's jump right in here, guys. Hopefully, you pull some nice stuff. All right. Okay, so we're starting off strong. We got the uh, Dogmatica Nexus. Nice, good first common. Uh, Infer Noble Knight, Magius, Dark Lord, Nurgle. The uh, the Dark Lords are an interesting archetype. Um, these new Dark Lord cards are actually really strong, but they have no way to protect themselves against destruction. So I don't expect to see any actual play for them. The Melfi Mommy, you know, as Simo said, do what you will with that name. Um, oh, all right. So we started off. We uh, showed off that ultra rare promo, and we pulled the super rare guy, the fierce knight origin, as our first hollow. So that's pretty nice. Stick that there. The heavenly dragon circle. So this is actually a pretty nice uh, quick play spell for tinnies and for worm monsters. So uh, nice uh, common. The infernoble knight captain Roland. Uh, nobody knows why this thing is common. This thing should have definitely gotten a higher rarity. And Theo, so Nysa uh, got two Dogmaticas in the same uh, pack, and Melfi Hide and Seek, nice. All right, come on. Melfi Playhouse, all right. More Melfi Mommy. Uh, Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, so this is the uh, accompanying card to the Gaia stuff. Um, Dogmatica Encounter, this is the trap. Uh, pretty cool artwork on this thing. And all right, so our second hollow is Performapal, Odd Eyes, Metal Claws. And all right, so this is one of the imports, the DD Evil, um, getting the nice um, Pendulum Support, Melfi Hide and Seek, Ancient Warrior Saga. So there's two new Ancient Warrior cards in here, and we've got the Edge Imp Scythe. So this is the uh, Fright Fur Fluffle Support. This thing is actually pretty sick as a common. This is a hand trap that fuses into your Fright for monsters. Um, and then it has a secondary effect as well. I'm forgetting what it is. Um, 
All right, banish this card from your graveyard and instead of losing a monster. So it's a protection effect as well. Uh, so we got the uh, Dogmatica Nation. This is the uh, field spell. Don't expect to see any play on this unless people start playing Dogmatica Pure. Um, Thunderhand, we've got the Nexus again. And this is probably one of the worst cards released by Konami in a long time. Diced Dice. Uh, basically what it does is it returns itself to the hand or returns itself to the top of the deck. Blizzard, this is actually really cool. This is our next hollow. This is a um, called by the grave, but for spell cards on the field. Horn of Oilophant, Drill Driver Vespinato, more Performant Pal. So this is a uh, more uh, Pendulum support. We got the Machinery Savenger, which got two support cards, if I'm not mistaken. It got an Ultra Rare as well. Um, it's, uh, oh, we got it stuck. Don't want to bend the cards. All right, so we got uh, Fright for Cruel Whale. So this is one of the new Fright for cards, uh, new uh, Fluffle stuff. DD Arc, so this is an imported uh, DD card. More of the Pendulum stuff. Dracoon Lamp. We've got Spir Spiral Reborn. And Revenge Rally, so this is one of the new trap cards. This is our Hollow Megalith Full. I know a lot of people actually really excited about the Megaliths, and this is a really going to make that deck uh, function nicer than it is and than it has been. Melfi Rabby, it's so cute. And then we got the uh, oh, the new uh, Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. So this is the new uh, Super Heavy uh, support. And then we've got Frightfur Jar. Come on, heart of the cards. Give me something nice. All right, so we're starting off with Capricious Dark Lord. Uh, more of the Dark Lord stuff that we got in this set. And this is the other completely useless card in the set. Um, you can't even summon this thing unless it's you have more, three more cards in your extra deck than your opponent. Infernoble Knight uh, Magus, Melfi Finney. Infernoble Knight Oliver. So this is one of the uh, supers. I actually didn't realize until yesterday that the Infernobles were getting as many supers as they are. Um, it looked like it was going to be mostly a common set. We got the uh, Junk Sleep. More Dogmatica. So we got the Dogmatica Punishment. We've got Spiral Fusion. So this is the new fusion card for the uh, Gaia and the Cursed Dragon. And then Melfi Pony. Nice, nice. So this set is so good. It honestly just feels like every card is good, with the exception of those two that I named. All right, so we got the Melfi Thinny. Again, just the cutest archetype ever. We've got the new Fright for Repair card. So this is more of the Fluffle support, an authorized boot up device. Uh, number one, uh, or level one, rather, a uh, machine. And this thing's actually Union, so it attaches itself. Um, Dark Lord Uprising, so this is the new Dark Lord Trap, and oh nice, sweet guys, so this is the uh, Shadal Schism, this is the new Shadal um, Continuous Trap, that is beautiful, I actually really like the art on that. We've got the Indulged Dark Lord, we got the Methmec Diameter, Heavenly Dragon Circle, and Infernoble Captain Roland. Let's uh, actually stick the Ultra Rare in its own stack. All right, we're almost halfway through with this first stack of cards. All right, Fluffle Dolphin, nice. This is such a cute card. All right, we got the uh, DD Arc, Galloping Gaia. So this is the uh, spell card for the new Ga uh, Gaia stuff. Another Fright for Repair. And nice, nice. So this is actually a really good card. Again, Dark Lord just doesn't have any any way to protect itself from destruction, but this thing would be really powerful otherwise. Uh, we got the Spiral uh, Discharge, more the Gaia, um, Hot Claire, the Infernoble Arms, we've got another one of the Ancient Warrior Sagas, and an Indulged Dark Lord. Let's get in here. Noticing the packs want to tear a little different on these. All right, so Dogmatica Nexus, more Dogmatica support, another Magus, another Dark Lord Nurgle, another Melfi Mommy, and oh, all right, here's our super rare for the uh, pack, Melfi Caddy, pretty nice. We got the Dogmatica Theo again, almost got a play set of those. We got the Melfi Hide and Seek, Horn of Oilophant, this is the trap card for the um, 
Invernoble stuff that we got, and Drill Driver Vespinado. Um, that is actually a pretty nice little Xyz monster, um, which, like I said, I mean, everything feels pretty good in this set, even the commons. All right, so Twinkle Twiddle, Twinkle Little Star. This is the uh, Bisactor import that we got. Uh, new uh, Pendulum support. Curse of Dragon. This is the uh, other Gaia. We got Dark Lord Uprising again. Another Dogmatica. Oh, guys, we got the Adamancipator friends. So this is nice. This is the new spell card for the Adamancer archetype. Very cool artwork. It's got all of the uh, synchros on there. Stick the uh, secrets by themselves. We got the uh, Dogmatica Theo and Infernoble Knight Hawk Player, DD Evil, and another super heavy uh, Scarecrow. All right. We got another Dogmatica Nation, Thunderhand, Nexus, uh, another Dice Dice, and nice. So, DD Dog. Um, this is one I did not realize was going to be super. I thought all this DD import stuff was going to actually be common, and it looks nice in the hollow foil treatment. Uh, another uh, card, Gardna, Machinery Savager, Junk Sleep, and another Punishment. All right, heart of the cards, guys. Diced Dice again, Melfi Thinny, Thunderhand, got another Nurgle. All right, so our hollow here is Redeemable Jar, Continuous Trap. Uh, we've got another Astolfo, Infernal Knight, Red Potan. Now, this card's actually kind of cool. Um, it's a fairy that actually turns another Potan into a tuner. Uh, Melfi Rabby, and we got another of the Edge Imp Scythe, another one of those uh, awesome hand traps. And I think we're still waiting on another... Uh, Ultra for this side, so come on, Ultra. Capricious Dark Lord, Linker Bell, Infernoble Knight Magus, Melfi Thenny, and nice, nice. So this is the Artillery Catapult Turtle. This is the new um, Catapult Turtle in this set, Aqua Level 4, and goes along with the uh, new Gaia the Fierce Knight archetype stuff, along with the Spiral Fusion, Melfi Pony, Spiral Discharge, and Infernoble Arms, Hot Claire. That's a pretty good half, first half. Let's uh, see what else we've got in this thing. All right, so uh, Fury of Kyaru Shin. This is the uh, Torrential Tribute spell card, which is awesome. Add uh, Torrential Tribute from your deck to your hand. Uh, we've got another unauthorized boot up device. Abyss Actor Twinkle Little Star again. Melty Tag. Oh, nice, nice. We're getting all the Ad Emancipator love tonight. So this is the new Nemesis Keystone. Uh, for those of you familiar with the Nemesis, they were just recently added. This one is awesome because it is a rock monster, and it works really well with the Adamancer archetype. We've got the D Drill Driver Vespinato, Megalith Full, Junk Sleep, and another Red Poton. All right. Come on. Good stuff. Got another Fluffle Dolphin, another DD Arc, Galloping Gaia, Fright for Repair, and nice. Guys, we got the uh, Dragon Maid Tidying. This is the new Dragon Maid Trap support that we got in this set. Ancient Warrior Saga again, another Dark Lord. Uh, Dogmatica Theo, that's our playset or our fourth one. We got the Infernoble Hawk Claire. And come on. Let's open this one upside down, flip it up. All right, so Melfi Pony, we've got Horn of Oilifont. We've got Heavily Dragon Circle. Another Gardener. All right, so this is the new Speedroid support we got in here. The uh, machine level four uh, block and roll, that's our hollow. We've got another Fluffle Dolphin, another Cruel Whale. Another Dracoon Lamp, and Spiral Re Reborn. I feel like we've gotten all the uh, commons by now. We keep seeing duplicates. One, right, another Twinkle Little Star, Curse of Dragon, another Uprising, another Dogmatica Nexus, 
Oh, nice. So this is the cover card, guys. We got the Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. We're getting all the support for this archetype. That is beautiful. Uh, that thing is going to look so pretty in, a, uh, in the prismatic, the starlight, rather. DD Evil, Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow, Melfi Rabbi, and Enfer Noble Knight of Stolfo. Right, we should be coming up on an Ultra or a Secret here. Dogmatica Encounter, Capricious Dark Lord, Melfi Playhouse, Linker Bell, and oh, nice, nice, guys. So this is the new raid, Raptor Revolution Falcon Air Raid. This is an import from the OCG, getting us ready for the new raid, Raptor, and PK support that we've got coming up. And that is some cool artwork on that. We've got the uh, Dogmatic of Punishment, Fright for Jar, Dogmatic of Theo, and Indulged Dark Lord. All right, we're about halfway done on this side as well. So this box doesn't have much more to it. Uh, and we're still waiting on our Ultras and our Secret for this side. So we got the Diced Dice, Melfi Fenny, Thunderhand, Dark Lord Nurgle, and Oh, nice. So this is the Speedroid Car Turbo. This is our ultra rare. Uh, this is uh, the new uh, import for the Speedroid. So we got the uh, Speedroid Guitar, the uh, Block and Roll, and then we got the Car Turbo. So those are the two new Speedroids in the set. Red Potan, we got the Edge Imp Scythe, Drill Driver Vespinato, and another Megalith Full. All right. Come on, come on, heart of the cards. Give me something good. Another unauthorized boot up. We got Melfi Tag, their uh, new spell speed too. We got the Fury of Kyru Shen, the uh, Dogmatic Nation. Nice, guys. So we got another um, Infernoble Super. This is Oak Gear. And that is really cool in the hollow treatment. Those fairies look cool. All right, so East by South Winds, the Ancient Warriors, Spiral Discharge. Mathmec Diameter helps you find the diameter of a circle. Uh, spiral Fusion and we are almost done. We got four more packs after this. All right, Fury of Kyrushin, Unauthorized Boot Up, Twinkle Little Star, Melfi Tag. Oh, nice. So Joyous, we're getting a lot of the uh, Infernoble stuff. This is one of the uh, Infernoble arms in the set. Junk Sleep, Red Potan, we've got the Card Gardener, the Performa Pow, and Heavenly Dragon, uh, the Worm Support. Alright, so the Field Spell, that Ga Galloping Gaia, Capricious Dark Lord, another Twinkle Little Star, Melfi Playhouse. Oh, guys, this is our secret. We got the Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. That thing looks really cool in person. I had just seen the pictures. Um, that is beautiful. All right, so one of our new synchros we got in this set. We got the uh, Drill Driver Vespinado, Infernoble Arms, Hot Claire, Machina Savinger, and Infernoble Knight of Stolfo. Oh, dropping packs here. All right, we got three more. Still looking for an Ultra. Maybe luck out with a uh, prismatic. All right, Spiral Reborn. We got the Dracoon Lamp, Fright for a Cruel Well, Fluffle Dolphin. All right, so this is our Hollow, the uh, Yamanabe Party. Not one of the ones I'm super excited about, but not bad. It's got a uh, cute artwork on it. We got Horn of Oilophant, Melfi Pony, um, and Dogmatic of Punishment, and Fright for Jar. All right, guys, what else can we pull? We got a Melfi Mommy, all right. Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon, Dogmatica Encounter, Fright for Cruel Well. Nice, nice, all right, we got a Dogmatica. We got the Aiden, the Enlightened. Uh, so I don't expect this one to see much play anytime soon, but maybe if we are moving towards a pure Dogmatica deck in the future, Aiden might see some plays. Actually, not bad. Uh, we got the Infernoble Cap uh, Knight Captain Roland, DD Evil, Melfi Hide and Seek, and East by South Winds. And last pack, guys. 
All right, what did we get? What did we get? All right, Dogmatica Encounter. We've got Capricious Dark Lord, Melfi Playhouse, Linker Bell. Oh, nice! This is the uh, Lifeless Link uh, Leaf Fish. This is the new um, level four water fish support monster. This thing's actually pretty cool. You can uh, send to your uh, graveyard from your deck a Lifeless Leaf Fish and. Um, Banish from your graveyard, targeting three fish monsters in your graveyard, and shuffle them back. So it's a really nice recursive engine for your um, water engine. Dogmatica Theo, Indulged Dark Lord, Ancient Warrior Saga, and Spiral Discharge. Very nice. All right, I am happy with that box. This was a cool opening. And um, make sure you uh, hit that notification bell if you want to join in. We are doing that massive four case of Rise of the Duelist stream. And if you want to join in, we've got a Discord. You can hop on, uh, join the chat, or you can join the Patreon. We are selling boxes that we open on stream. So you get to join in on the fun, see what you get, and we get it mailed out to you. You can also purchase a case through that, uh, through P Patreon. So thanks for joining me, guys. Have a great one and peace out.